today you just uh, keep your eye open and keep your heart open and allow the universal energy to come in to guide you and to help you to open your eyes from another perspective to see how powerful you are. Since at that time, when I was sitting on the dirt ground on the, in the soccer field, I was not even a Qigong practitioner. Though I knew that much about Qigong, I practiced Tai Chi, right? I practiced Kung Fu too. But about Qigong, I was a little baby, you know, a, 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 a worm baby. And, but seven hours and a half sitting over there, I was able to heal my knees. And two months later, when we did, uh, as a college uh, faculty, we did the, uh, the annual medical checkup, I found the bone spurs in my neck, in my back, completely gone. And later on, I found out my suicidal depression went away. That was the biggest bonus of my life. Wow, this was so cool. Some people said, Qigong, you believe it, it works. You don't believe it, it doesn't work. But to me, it is so real. So now the first game is called finger growing game, the power of the mind. So what I want you to do is, you know, hold your left hand up like this, and then look at your palm, find the first line underneath of the palm, right? You find the line, right? And then you go to the right hand, you find the same line, and then put these two lines matching together, like what I do, stretch your fingers open like what I do, and then slowly you close your hands. And see which hand your finger is a little bit longer than the other hand, like mine, you see, left hand is a little bit longer than the other side. If that happens to your hand, no matter it's left or right, put up your shorter hand. Put up your shorter hand. The shorter hand, the shorter fingers, right? If they are the same length, then put up either of your hand. That will do. Now, I want you to focus on the hand you put up. Say in your mind, my fingers are growing longer, 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 longer. I feel my fingers are becoming longer, 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 longer. And you can put one hand down. And my fingers are becoming longer, 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 longer. Feel that a bit. All right, now compare your hands. Matching the two lines together, and... Is that cool? <laughs> All right, okay. Open your hands, shake a little bit. Say my hand, my fingers go back to normal. All right, now compare your hands again. Go back to normal, huh? This is, I call it, positive thinking. Now let's do it an opposite way. Make your fingers shorter. So put up this time your longer fingers or either of your hand if they're the same length. Then you say in your mind, my fingers are becoming shorter, 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 shorter. My fingers are becoming shorter, 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 shorter. I really feel my fingers are becoming shorter, 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 shorter. Now compare your hands. That's cool, huh? All right, so I believe everybody wants longer fingers, right? Shake your hands, go back to normal. All right, compare your hands. Back to normal again. So this is the power of the mind. When you think in a negative way, negative things is going to happen. When you think in a positive way, positive things is also going to happen too. So. You need to control yourself and you solely have the power. You can manage your life in a beautiful way. That is it. No more and no less. If you trust yourself about healing yourself, that is a piece of cake. Once you open your mind, open your heart in this way, you allow the abundance to come to you. You don't need to go search for your life full of abundance, filled with abundance. So, and you can also become a healer too, after you learn this. Now here, I want to make a demonstration. And I love fingers. So now we're gonna do finger game one more time. This time, 
I want you to compare your hands again. See which, make sure which hand your fingers is longer or shorter. All right, so put up your short, shorter fingers, shorter hand. Now I am going to send energy to every one of you together with your energy to make your fingers longer. Compare your hands. <laughs> All right. Cool, huh? Well, why do things happen then? Because when your mind focuses on a direction, you will drive the energy to, f to flow in that direction you want. You want, the, you want the energy to flow in that direction. For instance, making your fingers longer. You can use that to affect your fingers. You can use your mind to affect others. Nowadays, a lot of people have heart problems. Even if you don't have heart problems, a lot, you have some other energy uh, challenges because of the heart meridian. The heart energy is not working properly. In order to keep yourself, if this exercise can help you to keep a balance to your heart, if you don't have any blockages in your heart, right? If you have energy blockages in your heart, or you want to heal your heart, the arteries and the muscles in the heart, now this is a you know, exercise can help you to heal that. I had a friend who had uh, the, the artery in the top of the heart over here is like 35 uh, percent uh, or 45 percent uh, blocked by doing this exercise for two months. It down to 15 percent. So it was a good deal, and you don't need any medication. But with medication, it works even better, right? I, I'm, tell, I'm sharing this exercise to you. I don't mean that you know, after you do Qigong, you don't need to go see a doctor. You do need to see a doctor. Doctor, they are all angels. Together with the Qigong, to, with the yoga, with the other exercises you're practicing, and it can help you to heal faster. But to me, Qigong can help to heal with so many dimensions. It is more powerful. So this exercise goes like this. Clap your hands nine times and then clap your elbows. This el elbows inside nine times from left side, then the right side, and lift up your arm and cup your armpit nine times and then right side nine, nine times and then repeat two more times. All right, let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. So when you clap, you crap cup it form, right? Not not like this. That doesn't work. You have to cup it down, right? Because all these energy points connecting to the chest, to the lungs, and to the heart. And uh, under the armpit over here, there's a very powerful energy point connecting to the heart. It is a, there's an energy point over here. We call it the heart saving point. It's very powerful. So keep this a simple exercise in your life, the best time to do it is it around noon time from 11 to 1 o'clock. Find this two minutes and do it. It will help you a big deal in your life. So Qigong is very simple, but it's very powerful. With our love, 
it helps you even more. With unconditional love, you can help you heal even faster.